Well, let's return to the violence in the Liberian capital, Monrovia. Yvonne Ndege is standing by for us there now. Yvonne, when we spoke to you earlier, you were describing a, a bloody scene on the streets of the capital. Uh, what more have you been seeing? Well, it's still going on, Darren. The violent confrontation between the Liberian police and opposition supporters, those supporting the Congress for Democratic Change, continues. In fact, we've just moved behind the police line for security because opposition protesters are hurling uh, bottles, stones, sticks, bricks, anything that they can find. They are determined that tomorrow's presidential race should not go on. I explained to you earlier that they took us into the headquarters of the opposition party, showed us bodies of three slain opposition protesters. They say these individuals were simply opposing the go-ahead on tomorrow's election. And like I say, they're determined to stop um, tomorrow going ahead, I guess, with this display of, of havoc and violence. Um, Yvonne, are you still there with us? I'm still here, Darren. Uh, okay, sorry, we just lost you there for a second. But, uh, of course, meanwhile, President uh, Sirleaf has urged Liberians uh, to ignore a boycott demanded by her opposition rival, Winston Tubman. So how's that likely to play out tomorrow, given the sorts of scenes that you've been describing to us here? Well, if these scenes are anything to go by, Darren, they're clearly not listening. Remember uh, that 33% of Liberians did vote for the opposition. They did vote for Winston Tubman in that first round of voting that took place uh, in early October. Um, the Electoral Commission, along with Sirleaf, say tomorrow must go ahead constitutionally, that it won't be stopped, that the opposition did not withdraw from the race in time or did, did not meet the constitutional deadline for withdrawing from this poll. But obviously, the violence that we're seeing today shows that as far as the opposition are concerned, uh, tomorrow's election um, shouldn't go ahead. Um, they've withdrawn. They want the electoral body to be completely disbanded and reorganized. The question is, will there be adequate violence and chaos to instill, one has to say, a sense of fear um, in the electoral body about going ahead tomorrow? Three hours ago, I was at their offices, excuse all the noise, and they were saying that tomorrow goes ahead no matter what. But there's still uh, several hours left in the day. It could be called off at the last minute. We simply don't know. But these scenes of violence are extremely worrying. All right, Yvonne, thank you.